The Great Escape. The Great Escape, written by Jory John, read by Teacher Mike. Howdy, I'm Shell, an egg. How's it going? It's just me today. I'm on my own. The others, where are they? Hmm. Good question. The thing is. Sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the Great Egg Escape. Escape, egg escape. You get it. <laughs> Me, I'm not really in the mood to run around. If you want to know the truth, I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little me time. No reason to frolic around with everyone else. I prefer adventures of imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there's a part of me that wonders what they're doing right this very moment. Hmm, there's a note on the egg carton. We are out. We'll return whenever we feel like it. Right this very moment, we! Yeah! We look amazing. So festive. Let's play a game. Everybody, pick a good hiding spot. Great idea! Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. I'm behind a tomato. I'm next to the avocados. I'm blending in with the potatoes. <laughs> What's so funny about that? Being a potato is a serious business. Ah, <sighs> this is the life. When you live in a carton with a lot of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So I'm going to enjoy this while it lasts. <laughs> exactly two hours, thirty-six minutes, and two seconds later. Hmm. Hmm. Nobody's back yet. Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelley and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyway, they should have been home by now. These great egg escapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. I'll just wait a few more minutes. They'll surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. <laughs> Bong. Noon. It's noon. Morning is officially over. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go looking for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do. Meanwhile, he 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 he
I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle one. That seems promising. Pickles. 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 It's all pickles. Sheesh. Wait. Greg? Is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I'm hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Shell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Whoa! Found you. Oh. Aha! There you are. How? Found you. Oh. Is that everybody? Line up, eggs. Let's see. We have you, and 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 you. That's ten eggs plus me, which equals eleven. Hmm. Wait just a minute. Where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg. Wait, where are you guys going? To get some lunch, Shell. Then maybe take a nap. Mm, hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs, halt! As the old saying goes, if a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find him. Or maybe that's a new saying. Anyway, we're not finished until we're all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good, let's go! Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Greg, search the high shelves. Peg, check the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves! Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows! Shelby, comb aisle 5! Egbert, investigate aisle 6! Me, I'll scour the discount aisle! Meg has got to be around here somewhere! Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register! It might be a clue! Well, Read it, Greg! Okay, okay. You don't have to yell. Hmm. If you want to find an egg, just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue shell. I mean, it is a clue. Indeed, Greg. Indeed. Hmm. Bulk. Bold. Bulk. Bold. Bulk. Wait! I think I've got it! Follow me, eggs, to a bulk bin aisle! Onward! Wow! There are just so many bins! But which one is the right one? How do we know? Um... Shell, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? Of course, Peg! Of course! Eggs! Shoulder stack! Unite! Knock knock! We know you're in there, Meg! Hee 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 hee! Oh, hi. I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you found your way out of the carton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we're back together again. Woo! You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. 
But the most fun of all, a chance to frolic with your friends. Yay! Woohoo! Yeah! Say, when's the next great egg escape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed we shall, shall. 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 Can be fun. Get your free Easter activity book at fatcatbooks.uk now. Make sure your child is reading and spelling accurately with the Fat Cat Phonics program. Make learning phonics easy and fun with the virtual teacher, which allows your child to learn along with me. A, n, t, ant. Complete various exercises. Ant. And read unique stories written by myself. Ant and Fat Cat. An ant is in ink. They're designed to be easily read in the early stages of their reading and will build up your child's confidence. Also, make the end of the lesson revision fun with one of the phonics games. Ant. Download some free lessons now at fatcatbooks.uk